good morning ESM. Today is uh, National Sweatpants Day. Bro. It's National Sweatpants Day. Mm -hmm. You had one job. I'm sorry. More after news and announcements. Moore's Incorporated is giving its popular M&M's characters a slight makeover to be more inclusive. Mars said Thursday it was making a global commitment to creating a world where everyone feels they belong and society is inclusive, aiming to increase the sense of belonging for 10 million people around the world by 2025. Part of that campaign includes tweaking the M&M's logo and the characters seen in chocolate candy commercials with an updated tone of voice that is more inclusive, welcoming, and unifying, while remaining rooted in our signature gesture, weight, and humor. Singer Milof has died at the age of 74. His death was confirmed via his Facebook page with a post from his family. Milof was w well known for his rock album, Bat Out of Hell. Tech giant Microsoft announced its purchase of the gaming company Activision, who are the creators of games such as Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Crash Bandicoot, and Candy, Candy Crush for their Xbox division. This deal comes in at a mind-boggling $69 billion, and his gamers exciting, excited for the future of Xbox's game subscription service, Game Pass. But some people are speaking out about this, saying that Microsoft is getting awfully close to becoming a games monopoly, as they are not new to being eyed by lawmakers about antitrust laws, evident by the 1998 court case against Netscape. A SUNY ESF student has been expelled over a racist video circulating on social media. The video was filmed off campus and violated the ESF Code of Student Conduct. Governor Kathy Hochul is directing the State Police Hate Crimes Task Force to provide law enforcement to address the video. On Thursday, the student was expelled and is prohibited from entering any ESF building. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. all right. It's glad to see you're finally in the spirit. Yeah. Uh, International Sweatpants <laughs> Day is on January 21st, and it celebrates one of the comfiest pieces of clothing ever invented. And it's a day to don your sweatpants and wear them all day long. Uh, some French guy in 1882 that I could not pronounce the name of, so I changed the script, uh, thought it would be cool to not wear, like, fitted pants to the gym, so he made them. And in 1950, it was coined as sweatpants. What a great idea. What a guy. <laughs> More. Tonight will be mostly sunny with some clouds rolling in as we get later into the night with a high of 11 and a low of negative 6. Saturday is going to start to warm up a little with a high of 23 and a low of 16. And Saturday is going to be mostly sunny, so it's starting to get a little warmer. Sunday is going to have a high of 26 and a low of negative 8, staying in that high of around 25 range. And it's going to have a, a chance for a snow shower or two. With that, I'm Grayson with your Friday morning weather. They took the camera, we didn't know they were. Uh, uh, and now we're gonna go over when it's kind of appropriate to wear sweatpants and when it's really not. Okay, so some examples of when you should wear them is either doing like athletic activity, like working out or sporting events or just chilling at your house. Uh, but you know, it's probably not the best idea to wear it at like wedding, uh, funerals, not cool, no, formal events, just don't be dumb, use your brain. You wear kind of wear dress pants. <laughs> yeah, and just sports. The Jamaican bobsled team has qualified for the Olympics for the first time in 20 years. The last time this happened, Disney made a movie based off the event called Cool Runnings. The Syracuse women's basketball team lost to Georgia Tech 65-55 to yesterday. The Syracuse men's basketball team plays Duke on Saturday at noon. 
Last night, the girls volleyball team beat CVA 3 to nothing. Margaret Madling had 15 kills and one ace, while Laura Sitnik had eight kills and two aces. Autumn Stola had four kills and three blocks, and Lily Tallarico had three kills and one block. Morgan Ransom had 14 digs, while Natalie Peterson had 29 assists and one ace. Boys Bowling beat Cortland 3-0. Ryan Buffham had the top score with 748, which is his personal high. Luke Lee lead cut high, contributed to the win with 616 points. Girls Bowling lost to Cortland 3-0. Alana Turville led the team with 445, and closely behind was Olivia Nissen with 425. In upcoming games, girls and boys bowling have a match at Central Square at 30. Boys basketball has a game against the USL Fowler at 645. Girls basketball has a game against Chittenango at 645. Ice hockey plays at Whitesboro at 7. On Saturday, the wrestling team has a match at Homer at 930. Girls volleyball plays at CBA at 1130. And boys and girls track has a meet at SRC Arena. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Well, in conclusion, the best way to celebrate this day is to wear your favorite pair of sweatpants, and if you don't have any, maybe a good day to go out and pick some out. All right, I'm kind of bored about talking about sweatpants, so. Okay, that's fine. Uh, make sure to stay comfy out there. Bye. Bye. <laughs>